what's up people tune you again from scissor graphics and um, in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you how to crop a logo in Photoshop real fast so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial okay so I already have my um, logo ready so um, let's just jump right in okay let's start so um this what we're going to be using to crop up the logo is um, the channel tab right here but just in case you don't have it so simply go to windows and click on channels all right so you have that three colors um for this logo so we have the red green and blue so these are the three color that made this logo and that is why if i hide um, this and make this too visible you see i have this but i don't want to start this in this tutorial so we're going to look for the one with the high contrast all right among these three colors sorry okay so this uh, this one here this particular one at the top here controls when the colors are together so that's why we have the rgb here which is the r is for the red the g is for the green and then the blue the blue is for the blue right here so let's select them one after the other and see the nope i can't see the yellow all right i can't see the yellow here anymore so i'll go to the next one okay so i can see the yellow on this but is is not really visible all right we can still use this because i can see the yellow here but let's see the next one wow i think i prefer this so this is cool so i'm gonna we're gonna use this um color to um crop out the logo so the next thing we're going to do now is to make a copy of this by dragging and drop pin like so so i have a copy of this and i'll double click on it to give it a name so i'll call this alpha okay then um i need to crop this so as to just take out this white part so I'm going to go to the crop tool now and I'll just you know, create a rectangle shape around it. So I'll hit enter on my keyboard. So I only want the logo to be visible. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring out the level adjustment. So I'm going to be using the shortcut to bring that out. So the shortcut is Control L. And for Mac users, you can use Command L. That part of, the lo of this logo, Photoshop will... Um, call it the shadow so all this darker part of this logo are the shadow on this logo the one at the center which is this this is the shadow here so the one at the center here which is this is the mid-tone so every part we have light shade of black which is gray it will be called the mid-tone and the lighter parts which is the background here will be called the highlight here in photoshop so Photoshop thinks this is the shadow, so I'm going to move the shadow in like so. Alright. So to make it more darker, I'll push the mid tone in. And when you're doing this, you need to be careful of something. Alright. So if you zoom in now, sorry, zoom in. Try make sure that you don't have these pixel edges like this um rough edges here. I need to push this thing so you guys can see what I'm saying. So if I push it to about this length, you see I'm seeing these rough edges here. So avoid this. Okay. Try not to make this happen. So I'm gonna move move this back till I get the smooth edges. Yeah, I think I like it this way though. So this is perfect. So I'm just gonna click OK. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to invert this. So to invert this, I'm gonna hit command I all right and i'll zoom out okay and i am going to hold on control and click all right so holding on control will change your mouse uh, cursor to this and i'll click so i have the um marquee selection around the logo and now go i'll go to the layer panel again and i'll double click and i'll just hit okay and i'll hit command j and I'll hide the original layer and now I have my logo cropped all right so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and um, I'm sure you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace out